Guess who's back? Guess who's back with a mouthful of dog food this morning? Guess who's back? Say, hey, I'm back. I was on vacation. I was down in Florida. I was running around pissing and crapping in, in, at the five-star hotel, the motel room. Yeah, I, I was on vacation. I'm back. Yeah, you back. You back. I'm back. Where your, where your partner in crime at? Where's she hiding at? I don't see her nowhere. Ginger! Where'd she go? Ginger! Go get her ass. I found out where she is. She ran off somewhere. There she is. Come here, Ginger. Where were you at? Where were you? Where were you? I saw was running around. You get your eating piece of crap away, did you? Huh? You better not have. It's too early. It's 9 o'clock, man. It's almost 10 o'clock in the morning, y'all. Too early for all that. Anyway, today is Wednesday, March 22nd. The year is 2023. So listen, I don't know what it is about these young guys. And they come to me, they want advice, they need help, but they don't want to listen. And I'm going to listen to shit I got to fucking say. Why are you asking me for assistance and help and you're not listening to anything I am telling you? I don't get that. Why are you in my presence on my phone or talking to me and you don't want to hear anything I have to say? What's the point? When I was younger and I went to older people to ask for assistance, I sat my ass down, shut my fucking mouth, and listened to every motherfucking word they had to goddamn say. I didn't say shit. I shut my mouth. I'm going to be slobbing all over the place. My coffee's good. If you're trying to learn something in life, sometimes you got to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and listen. If I'm trying to school you on something... That's going to financially help your motherfucking ass. Shut your fucking mouth and listen. Y'all, this is why I don't like to help people. I try to assist people because they don't want to listen to anything you got to say. I asked somebody who's trying to buy a house. I said, oh, I can show you what you do, blah, 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 blah. I'm showing them what you do. Nigga, they want to listen to what I have to say because he heard this and he heard that. I said, no, we don't do it that way. Do it this way. This is easier. Y'all don't have any houses I've purchased and sold and closed on in my lifetime. This nigga ain't brought one. I hung up the phone with him. I said, okay, I can't deal with that. They don't want to listen. Uh, and they always bring up my age. You, you, you just, you, your age, what, when age comes motherfucking wisdom. Dumbasses. Yeah, I'm old. Old enough to know better and, to edu and, and can educate you on a whole bunch of shit. You know, I know how to help people do all kinds of stuff. But I can show you all kinds of shit if you're willing to listen. Man. Listen with these ears and not this fucking mouth. Mouth is running. It's at 100 miles per hour, 75 soft, just blah, 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 blah. But you ain't listening. You don't want to hear nothing I have to say. I'm telling you, you can do this, 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 and this will work out in your favor. But you ain't listening. I don't know. No, no. Uh, no, I heard. No, this is the correct way to do this. But I heard. And so and so said, well, I don't know those people, but you come to me and I'm trying to show you what you can do to resolve some of these financial issues you got. Now, I ain't got no financial issues over here. I ain't got no issues over here. My bills are paid. I got money in the motherfucking bank. These dogs ain't over here starving. I ain't missed a meal over here. The lights are on. Electricity on. Gas is on. Five cars parked outside. All with full tanks of gas. Payments paid up for months. This house. I didn't payments paid up for months on this motherfucker. Money in the bank. I'm doing good over here. I'm not asking anyone to help me do a goddamn thing. So, you know, I, but y'all, they don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. 
Listening means shut your fucking mouth. And listening and taking notes to what I'm trying to say. Maybe jot it down or just turn it good in your head. I'm not going to keep arguing back and forth with people. I don't have any children. I don't even want to eat too much running around here this morning. So why on God's, why would I sit get up early in the morning and have a conversation with you and you don't want to have shit I had to, I ain't even had my cup of coffee. This nigga was, then lost his fucking mind. I ain't had my damn coffee. And we having a stupid conversation and you don't want to listen to nothing I have to say. I'm trying to tell you, you can do this and this will work out in your favor if you do exactly what I say. But you doubting everything that I say. Why are we on this phone? If you don't trust me and you don't want to, and you don't believe the stuff that I'm saying, or you doubt what I'm telling you is accurate, why are you in my presence? Why are you on the phone? Why are you coming around here? Why are you sitting at this table? You know, why? Uh, I don't have to listen. Uh, 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 uh. And then you talk about some, I don't mind listening, but you need to learn to listen as well, especially if you're trying to be there for me. I don't want to hear your bullshit about your problems and the bullshit you're going through. I already know what you're fucking going through. I'm not asking. I'm not. In order to get through that bullshit, we got to do this. Yeah, I just told everybody that bad credit, good credit, 800 credit score, repossessions, foreclosures, uh, all of the above. Sitting in court, they didn't took me to court for bad debt. I was in court, I was arguing with the judge back and forth. Been there. Only thing I ain't been through is child support payments. I ain't don't have no children to deal with that. That's something that, that's for the breeders to deal with. I, gay folks shouldn't have to deal with that nonsense. I don't have no children. I'd have been through everything else. Foul bankruptcy, all of the above. Even in the midst of all that crisis, I didn't ask anybody for nothing. I didn't. Why? What's the point? They didn't have it any damn way. The people I knew who had it, they wouldn't answer their phone calls any damn way. I, didn't call, I wouldn't even call them any damn way. But when they didn't have it, then it was sitting in my face. I had a friend, he had a bank, he had $500,000 in the bank. And I had zero. That nigga didn't call me for damn near eight months. Why he had, why he ripped through that $500,000 in the bank. And one night he showed up at my door. Now this was my best friend. Literally, we hadn't spoke in months. And there was no argument, there was disagreement. But I heard what he was saying, oh, they over there struggling. They going through this and they going through that. But the minute the nigga hit rock bottom, he was on my doorstep. I should have slammed it in his fucking face. If I can go back to that motherfucking day, when that nigga showed up at my doorstep, after he had burned through all that fucking money, after he was warned repeatedly what everybody was going through in the housing market, he thought he was smarter and better. But he burned through all that money, was flat as broke, and was now standing at my doorstep. By this time, I was going back on my feet, or getting on my feet. He said, oh, well, I need some help. Well, I should have just slammed the door on his damn that nigga's face. I should have just said, uh, nigga, get the fuck off my doorstep. I ain't spoke to you in months. When I was in a need of something, you were nowhere to be found. Here's the funny part. Had he came to me with that money and we just sat down, he would have never been broke. Because I would have showed him the things he didn't fucking know. See, he out there buying a Mercedes and doing all this shit in the midst of a crisis, the whole country burning down. This is when the, down, the Great Recession, they called it. And he would come back over there when he had that 500000 he could have quadrupled and tripled it, but he didn't come to me. But I was supposed to be his best friend. Y'all can have that friendship, man. I don't give a fuck about you niggas. I'm just telling y'all now. I ain't looking for no, like I've said a thousand times. When y'all when y'all walk onto this computer, y'all don't see no, hey, a bunch of friends sitting around here. I don't do that shit. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? In this. Ginger seems to keep vanishing around here.
That gate must be up. I'm not like gate to that stairwell must be. Uh, give me two seconds. Let me make sure this gate is closed and the stairs because she likes to go all the way upstairs and never know what time she up to. And I need to be some more coffee. I'll be back in just a second. Oh, well, I found Ginger upstairs. She, I figured she ran up and down. That gate was open and she ran her ass up and down the stairs. Way up on the top floor. I said, where's she? I had to go rescue her ass. Yeah, I figured she's running around somewhere. Y'all. <laughs> Why on God's, if someone's trying to school you on something that you don't know, you don't know what you're doing, you have no clue, no nothing, but the person that you're friends with or associates with, they know how to do this stuff, been doing it for years. Why would you go to a complete stranger who don't know what the fuck they talking about? They don't know shit. You don't even know the prayer. I found him on Instagram. You found him on Instagram. Yeah. You found this. You found a motherfucker on Instagram. You don't know this person. Never met him. But this motherfucker you don't know. You gonna go listen to what they got to say. But the nigga you do know that you didn't know for over a decade or longer. Who's sitting right here next to you? It's telling you, don't do it that way. You're going to go to jail. Do it this way so then folks won't come after your ass. But he said, no, but listen to me. You will go to jail if you do it that way. So who would you listen to? The complete stranger on the motherfucking internet that you do not know who's sending you to jail at the end of the day. Or the president says, no. Me, I know you, nigga, unfortunately. Don't do that, because they're going to handcuff your ass and put you in the back of a police car and take you on a tour of America by paddy wagon. Don't do that. Who would you listen to? Who? Who would you make that? What? Who? Who? Should me up for discussion? Right? Should this even be a, a conversation? Ginger! Get over here. Come here, Ginger. She just really on her way to the kennel. Ginger, come here. There's something under that couch you're trying to get to. But I don't get this. Many years ago, I met a man named Tony Bourne. He's passed away now. Tony Bourne sat me down in his beautiful house. I had never been in a house like that in my entire life. I said, there was just a beautiful home here in Atlanta. He owned businesses. He had all this positive, great stuff going on. And I learned, first thing I did, I walked his eyes, and I sat on his couch, and I shut my fucking mouth. Because I got through the front door to his home, which was immaculate and beautiful. I had never seen nobody living like this before. Not a black person. He had people coming around there cooking food and uh, catered events and all this shit. I'm like, this guy, who lived like this? <laughs> who are you? And you have an interest in me? And trying to school me? Cause you think you see I'm a smart person? I listen to every word that man said. Freddie he said, Mr. Hampton, Walter, you need a house. You got all this money, why don't you buy a house? I didn't know nobody could buy no house. I'm like, how? I'm over there like what house? Where? How? Show me what to do. Within 30 days I had a house. Because of him. Because I listened to what he told me to motherfucking do. I ain't arguing. I can't get no house. No, I don't know how to get no house. How am I going to buy a house? I ain't what? No, I'm a so-and-so. I can't get no house. No, I, I listened. I didn't say one more. I said, you said I get a house, Sony? Run it. I want a house. And I ended up in a beautiful house. I was 23 years of age in a beautiful house with a swimming pool in the backyard in a beautiful neighborhood. I remember walking in the house and falling on the floor and said, oh my God, I own this house. Would have been possible if Tony hadn't schooled me. 
And I had listened. I listened to what the nigga told me. I didn't argue for some fight with Tony ever. And it was some instances that Tony had to put check my ass. Oh, I was young and stupid, y'all. Let me tell you about the birth certificates I was making. Okay, he found out about that. <laughs> oh, hell, I mean, he pulled up to my house. I laid up there watching TV. No, I got my little vitamin. I came up with a birth certificate scan. I think I talked about this before. And he got wind of it. Lord, have mercy. Whew. Yeah. He was just a friend that cared about me. An older, if I was in my 20s, Tony was well in his mid 30s or 30s, through 30 something. Or early, but he cared about me. He didn't have to. You met my mama. My mother and Tony boys would run around together. <laughs> um, Tony boys and I would run around together. Tony boys, my, my mother. I had got arrested, and Tony Boys had to, my mother, had, Tony Boys, my mother worked to get me out of multiple counties on multiple charges. I didn't think I was, I was a rapper. No, he didn't even get you out. But my mother was really impressed with Tony Boys. And they became friends. You know, so, you know, back then it was Tony Boys, Eric Gladman, Tyler Perry, Tyrone, your Tyrone was last name, that was a little crude all ran together. You know, when Tyler Perry be saying he's homeless, I always say, that. how is he homeless with all these people at these nice houses? I don't get that. He won't acknowledge Eric, that he stayed with Eric Gladwell's beautiful house with a baby grand piano in the front room of that gorgeous ass house over the indicator. Will you at least acknowledge that, Tony? I mean, Eric, I mean, uh, 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 Tyler Perry, at least say, this man opened his own for me, so I wasn't sleeping in a Metro Geo. Well, anyway, y'all, yeah, I know this a rap video, it's long. But I, I, I don't, it's just so weird that these younger people, they don't want to listen. Y'all, yeah, I'm at a point in my life, listen, listen to me. I don't want to argue with nobody. And you coming to me for help. Are you asked for help, my assistance? And I'm trying to assist you, but we got to go back and forth, and back and forth, back and forth. On this phone, they have a thing called delete and block. And I use it frequently. Because some people I don't want to be bothered with. I'm not going to go back and forth with you, and I'm trying to help your ignorant dumbass. I'm not doing that. Fuck you. And get the fuck away from me. Figure that shit out on your own. Go back on with the personal Instagram or wherever you met their ass at and, and see if they come get you out of jail, bail you out of jail, and then you end up in there. I don't want to be bothered with it. I don't want to be bothered with it. Well, Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, the year is 2023. I'm just sitting here at my coffee and feeding these dogs. But I swear to y'all, if somebody's trying to help you, or you come to someone for assistance, whatever it might be, sit down, shut your motherfucking mouth, and listen to what they're telling you. Because if you're not listening, you're not going to hear what the person's telling you what to do and how to move forward. I've had multiple people come to me say they want to buy a house. We start down the path, I'm trying to show them what to do, show them where to get started. They ain't got no motherfucking money. Credit, limping alone on life support. But they want a house, fine. That's cool. Let's get you into one of these programs where they get your credit off life support, bring it back to life. Oh, it's like Frankenstein, <laughs> credit back alive. <laughs> get you some down payment assistance. The government got plenty of money out there to buy a house. But you with somebody who's telling, work this, you know. But they don't listen. They don't want to listen. When Tony Boyens came into my life, it was a blessing. I, it was. I was crazy. 
And this man took an interest in me. And no, it wasn't sexual. No, we went out there and he had his own lover. He didn't have to do, he had to have shit to do with me. But he saw something here in me that I didn't even see in myself back then. And he didn't like the niggas I was running around with. Because he told me, they going to send your ass straight to jail. Leave him alone. And I did leave the niggas alone. And Tony helped me accomplish a lot of stuff. But I had to listen. Shut my mouth. But I see, but I went over there arguing with Tony. But I came into Tony's house and I sat down. I was like this. Oh, Lord, I was looking around. Oh, what is this? Who, you know, my and my friend saying, but you been outside. I, said, I was at the Tony Morris. I said, you was at Tony Morris house. I said, yeah, he might be over there. For what? I said, we just talking. About what? None of your fucking business, bitches. Watch him. Tony ain't up to no good. I said, well, the conversation I have never seen very positive. He helped me buy a house. Buy a house? You can't buy no damn house. He lied to you. He trying to take your money. I said, he never asked me for any money. Tony never asked me for anything. <laughs> Tony never asked me for nothing. Tony was trying to pour into me knowledge that I sure didn't have. And I was so grateful. Knowledge that I still use to this day, my ass. Because I shut my mouth and I listened to this man. I listened to what he had to say. Unlike this other nigga that ain't listening to shit. Oh, what is, what's going on here? Ginger! Ginger! Why you mess with the light? Why you mess with that light? Why? Why are you messing with my fucking light? Move! Move! Ah! Move! Move! Oh! Whew. Supposed to warm up today. Supposed to get out to the, this before the end of the week. Supposed to be in the 80s. It's a little drizzling outside a little bit. But yeah, the doggies are back. The dogs are back. Anyway, let me get my day started. I'm trying to get to the gym and some other stuff. But today it is Wednesday, March 22nd. The year is 2023. It'll be another pest. Another damn pest. Lord. Mm -mm. Another nigga just texting me, won't listen. Won't listen. Won't listen. These niggas just won't listen. I don't know, maybe it's just a young black male thing. But they don't listen. Then their lives are all fucked up and all this crazy shit going on because they just won't listen. Won't listen to nothing. I don't get it. Won't listen. Anything you have to say, they're going to do it their way. So, anyway, let me get my day started. This is a, you know, I don't like when people contact me, call me with a bunch of bullshit before I have my coffee in the morning time, y'all. I had to get up this morning and be at that bank at 8.30 to take care of something. 8.30, I was right outside the bank. They open at 8.30, I was right there. But in the midst of all this, I couldn't get no coffee because I had to run up out of here. So on my way back, this food calls me. And I'm like, okay. Go early. What you doing up? Oh, and then we get this conversation started. And I say, well, let me, all you do is this. Blah, 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 I finally found a Dunkin' Donuts. It was 10 million cars over there. I said, shit, I go and make my own damn coffee. But if I wait in that damn line, I kept going. And at the same time, I'm on the phone with this nigga. I said, okay, this nigga ain't it. First off, it's too motherfucking early in the morning for this bullshit. And this nigga ain't in this hell. This is the reason why I want to go to Miami. And deal with people who, they, there's a language barrier in Miami. They, they, we don't speak the same language. They, 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 they don't matter how they be harassing me if we don't speak the same language. I literally have clients in Miami, there's a language barrier, but we figure it out. <laughs> and we figure it out and go about our day. But we don't be la 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 because we don't know. They don't understand me and I don't understand them. We just have to kind of figure out the little bits that we can't figure out and then go about our business. Right? 
Sometimes it's better to deal with people where the language barrier is there. That way you have to hear about the personal bullshit. And, 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 and I mean, I video a lot longer than I want it. I'm out of here. Wednesday, March 22nd, the year 2023. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day.